Uh, welcome to Geography, everybody. This is your very first lesson of the new National 5 course that you're all starting this week. And we are going to begin you look uh, with the, one of my favorite or certainly one of my most interesting topics, uh, which is climate change. And between now and the end of this month, we're just going to um, introduce this topic to you and make sure that you learn about some of the key uh, bits of information that you need to know about what's going on with our planet uh, in terms of climate change and what's causing it. And we might even get it on to um, affecting people later on this month. So uh, the work that you've been set today um, is due by Friday, the end of this week. And uh, you need to make sure that you open up the uh, main instructions document. So it's titled Climate Change Number One Main Instructions, and you'll find that in the assignment below. Um, and you also need to make sure you complete all your tasks um, in this document, um, which is just opening up, which is Exactly the first part of your main topic notes um, that go with this topic um, for the climate change. So let's just wait for that to open up. Sorry about this. Um, this is just the computer. There we go. So uh, you need to find that document and you need to open it up and you will find um, it goes from at the end of uh, the greenhouse effect and it starts with um, the main topic heading as you can see there, climate change. Okay, now uh, let's just, uh, first thing I'd like to all realize is when we actually are back in school one day, you are gonna be uh, given a hardback folder and the particular notes that you're looking at on your screen are gonna then go into your actual topic notes and it will look a little something like that, okay, uh, in your folder. And we'll be printing all of this off and putting it in our big ring binders uh, which will then fill up with lots of topics, as you can see, lots of file dividers uh, showing you all the different topics that we study in this course. Okay, and, and that's what we'll do after the summer when we get back to school and print it off and put it into our new folders. Okay, let's get started. Um, your topic notes on climate change. The first thing every topic starts with is just what the key learning ideas for that topic are. And you can see here are, is what you will be learning about. Um, you need to know what the main features of climate change are, which is what we're going to be looking at today. Uh, next week, you're going to be learning about the physical and human causes of climate change. And in the last couple of weeks term, if we get a time, then uh, we're going to be looking at the local and global effects of climate change. But we're certainly going to get nowhere near the end of this topic. We're just going to take it slow and introduce you to it at a speed we think you can manage uh, online. Okay. Um, and then when you scroll down onto your second page, you will see the first task that uh, you're going to be asked to do, which is what is climate change? The big question. Now, if we have a look at the task sheet, um, the best way to use task sheet along with this main lesson video that I'm introducing to you today is to watch this video and then pause it as we get to kind of each of the key tasks and then complete the task. So I've um, told you that you need to read this, but actually that's you ahead of the very first thing, which is watching uh, a video which introduces climate change to, which is done by the Met Office, who in the United Kingdom um, are probably one of the leading agencies um, in terms of their knowledge about what's happening and the information that they hold on this particular problem that our planet faces. So your first job will be to watch this video and then read um, that particular page, which is the big questions. Um, so what I do is I would pause this main part of the lesson video and come back to me in a second once you've completed uh, when you've watched this Met Office video and when you've read this little bit. Okay, so I suggest you pause it. Okay, and if you have paused, we're now ready to come back. Uh, you're back with me in the main bit of the lesson, which is thinking about patterns. Um, and this will take you onto the next page of your main document. And it is a, a video. It's a tutorial with me um, discussing how you describe a pattern. Okay, and you're going to ask, let's go back to the main lesson document, you're going to be asked to describe, just scroll down, there we are, um, what you can see in this graph. And my tutorial will show you that. Now, now you're marked out of four because this is a key exam question that you see down here. So pay attention to my tutorial. Uh, think about how I tell you to answer this question and go ahead and answer it. Okay. Um, and when you have done that, 
um, you are ready for the next task. So I suggest you pause now. Okay, assuming you've paused and maybe you're unpausing, you're back now in the main lesson video um, and you're ready to complete the next piece of work, which is where we are continuing this idea of um, thinking about uh, the climate of a planet and its temperature and how it's changed over time. But instead of looking at 140 years, this next page thinks about the temperature over the last 400,000 years. Um, and there's a task where you need to watch this video. Uh, and then read this page and then answer the couple of questions that go with that. Uh, and just to show you what that looks like, um, we are on to this page here. We'll scroll down very slowly. There we go. Is there a link between um, the uh, changes in the amount of carbon dioxide or CO2 as it's known in the atmosphere and the temperature of the Earth? Um, and you will see there is a graph that shows you both. The red is the temperature of the planet over 400,000 years. And the blue line is the carbon dioxide or the amount of it in the atmosphere over the last 400,000 years. So there's a bit of reading to be done. Um, and then there is, as you will see down here, some questions which you need to answer. So you need to type your answers in here, these three questions. Once you completed that, you're ready for the next step. So you might want to um, pause now. Um, and if you've just unpaused because um, you completed that previous step, we are ready to move on to this part here, which is the planet's temperature, how why it varies. So here's an, a nice YouTube video done by the Met Office again that talks a little bit about how it varies. Uh, to complete this task down here on this page, you actually need to watch the video very closely. So this video will narrate you through all of the key answers um, to the question on this page. Okay. So you might just pause the video at various points and then type in your answers into uh, the correct spaces. So let me just show you what that looks like before you pause my main lesson video. So here we are, uh, what main driver of the planet climate system by watching the video to answer that as you will every single other question that you can see on that page, you'll be able to answer by watching that video. So what I suggest you do is pause now. Okay, assuming you've just pause video. Um, we're on to the final task for the day uh, for this week, which is what is the greenhouse effect? Okay, now for that, you need to watch this video on five. Okay, read a little bit on the that I've introduced the greenhouse effect. And then there is a question which is going to be based on your using a diagram and watching that video. So let me just have a look at this final task for this week, um, which you will see there we are. What is the greenhouse effect? You've got a diagram. You can zoom in on that on your screen. Uh, and uh, there are three questions that you need to answer. Um, the video will help you uh, answer them. You can do any research you wish to do. Notice the first task says write a detailed paragraph to describe and explain how the greenhouse effect works. So uh, you need to give that a bit of thought. And uh, we will be grading that as well. Any time you answer anything that we're not happy with, we will give you some feedback. We'll give you a model answer. So we'll show you what you should have written alongside what you did write. And therefore, when you get your uh, this these handed back to you, please make sure that you have checked uh, um, your answer against what we suggest. And we'll also leave you marks for certain questions uh, where appropriate, okay? So once you've completed this, please make sure you press the hand in button and it will be marked with feedback um, the following week. So see you for this week and uh, hopefully you'll all attend the Google Meets that will be set up to help you learn about this topic and we'll catch up with you next week.